Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. To je nešto moguće, moguće. Ja, ja ne znam, pa ja ne, ne imam baš neku želju da na puno napušam da ja sviđa mi se tamo dobra organizacija. Jedno oko Luka, oće, ako si Luka naljuti na njih. Moguće kad se ga pitao, ali možda ti on igra jednog dana u istom timu, šta bi su... To je nešto moguće, moguće. Alright, so during the All-Star game. Jokic was asked about him and Luka's re relationship, their friendship. And Jokic pointed right out that he would love for Luka to join the Denver Nuggets and play with Jokic. So, instead of talking more about the All-Star game, we're not going to talk about that. We are going to get into, imagine if Luka Doncic joined forces with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back and give another video. Now, if y'all enjoy NBA content, y'all love NBA commentary. I want y'all to give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share this video with your friends and family out there. And I appreciate y'all for the support. Listen, Jokic is already a champion. He already has. He's already a two-time MVP. He already is a triple-double machine. He's already probably the best big man in the league, other than Joel Embiid. He's already established with this Denver Nuggets team. And it look like they might go back to the West, at least the Western Conference Finals. We'll see. With a player, Luka Doncic, as y'all know, I raved about Luka on this channel, right? And Luka continues to do great things. And Dallas Mavericks are on a five, six game winning streak before going to the All-Star break. They look good. This is getting P.J. Washington, Daniel Gafford. They look good, right? If Luka joins... The Denver Nuggets in Jokic. Who's going to beat them? Nobody. But let me say this. These two players are so similar. I'm going to point this out. Jokic is literally Luka Doncic as a big man. Literally. You can switch bodies. They're the same player, but Jokic is bigger. And Jokic is a less agile as Luka is, but Jokic has great footwork. Jokic is an amazing post player. Jokic knows how to pass the ball. He knows how to shoot the ball. He knows how to get to the free throw line. He he just he does the good intangible things on the court, and he's the best passing big man we have ever seen in NBA history. The only thing Jokic doesn't have that Luka has is a step back. But Jokic has great handles for a big man. He brings the ball to court like he's a point guard. He's a point center, literally. So, switch bodies, they're basically the same player, in my opinion. Other than Luka having to step back, other than Luka having more fat, flashy passes, but they both have great, fat, flashy passes also. So, my point is, Jokic is literally, if Luka was a big man, it would be Jokic. And if Jokic was a point guard and small as his seven, It'll be Luka. So you put them two on the same team. Who is stopping that? Who? Yes, there's no defense. Cool. You put, you keep the role players around. So obviously, if this will happen, which will, it won't. Let's be honest. Come on now. This, I don't, this, there's no way this will happen. And I'll be shocked if it does. But we live in the fantasy world right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is fantasy team. You put these two on the same team. Going to, have to give up Jamal Murray, Eric Gordon. I'm 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 a, I'm being Dallas right now. Dallas going to want Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, probably Christian Brown, KCP. They gonna want all those players in a couple picks for Luca. So it would just literally be Jokic and Luca for now. You put good role players. You can add Bruce Brown back in the team if y'all want to. Because he's looking to get to play somewhere else. He's still in Toronto right now. I believe he's looking to play somewhere else. You can put shooters around that. And you can put a, just at least one 3 D guy that knows how to get buckets and get, defend. Lesser degree, Jeremy Grant. 
like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're living in fantasy world right now. Yogish and Luka alone, there nobody's beating that. And no matter what kind of defense y'all put on it, nobody's beating that. You put role players around that. Can this team go 8-2? No. No. Nobody's going 8-2. No. But we're putting the 2K? Probably. How many championships they'll win together? Sky's the limit. Listen, LeBron, Seth Curry, and KD are on their way out, unfortunately. And it's sad. And I hate to say it. The generation is coming to the end. The new guys are coming in. So the new guys, we got that everybody's talking about who's going to be the face of the league. Well, okay. I want Ant to be the face of the league, but I understand what Stephen A. and J.J. Red is saying, that he was just playing around, shooting left-hand jump shots in the you know, uh, three-point cuts, you know, I, I, the skills challenge, and they didn't like that. Personally, I'm not a fan. I wasn't a fan of that either. But because if you want to be the face of the league, you got to take it serious. You got to really grab this league by the throat and, and say, this is my league. I'm dropping 50 on y'all, right? Tyrese Halliburton embraced it because it was in his city. I expected him to do that. Now, if it was in Minnesota, I believe Anthony Edwards would embrace it too. So, basically, nobody as the NBA ends, I ain't going to lie, nobody I'm seeing, they don't give credit to Google Dodgers. They don't because he apparently doesn't play defense. Well, he gets a lot of steals. He's been defending better in a high level, a decent level lately. He's, he gets blocks when he needs to. He gets defensive breakdowns when he needs to. I think he does the best he can. And he's definitely improved on his defense. Okay. Jokic should be basically, but he doesn't want the spotlight. So I understand. Jokic doesn't want the spotlight, so it's not going to be Jokic. I explained Ant already. If he braces him more, he should be. SGA, as flashy as, you know, cool he is with his great captions on Instagram, his game just resembles faces of the league. He's too quiet. He's too, he, he minds his business, which I, I appreciate. I, I'm the same way. He minds his business. I don't see SGA doing it. Holly Burton, I feel like Holly Burton needs to score more. I feel like he, since they got Siakam, he's been, his points been dropping a little bit. He needs to score a little more, be more consistent. Then Holly could, could have an opportunity to do that. So those are players that I really see in his face of the league. But like I said, for Jokic and Luka, the friendship they have together, you can see in the All-Star game. You see when they play against each other. You can see how they go up against each other and really, really want to win, both of them. This is never going to happen. And if it happens, it's OP as hell. It's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all can keep dreaming because if it, if it ever does happen, nobody's beating them. They're the same player. It's just different positions. In my opinion, they both get triple doubles. Sometimes at halftime, they both dominate at a high level. They both ha have flashy passes, and they both want to win. Jokic already got his ring. It's time for Lucas Luka to get his ring. So for this to happen, Luka already needs to just stay on Dallas, get his ring with Kyrie. Will it happen? I'm not going to say. I don't know. We'll see. I want him to get his ring, though. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below who you think is going to be basically. Comment down below with Jokic and Luka ever team up again and what duel would that look like and what would their record be and would they, how many championships would they win together because I think they would win multiple championships. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's be your boy, Will.